this is just a quick little uh, PSA-like video for everyone wanting to buy the Gozan EP2 versions of their plugs and are quite happy or familiar with the SP1 or SP111 versions of these things. Now, as you may know, the Gozan plugs are quite, I would say, powerful for their size and can handle up to 2.5 kilowatts, which is pretty amazing for such a tiny package. And they can also measure uh, current draw and everything, which is why I bought the SP, I think SP1 version, it was uh, back in the days, like two years ago or something, and flashed them with this motor. Now, if you're a normal consumer right now and watching this video and, and seeing the title like don't buy these or something, um, don't worry, you can still buy them if you're still wanting to use the two-year cloud. Don't worry about anything there, they're still working great and they're still great plugs for that. But for us little smart home hackers, I would say, uh, don't buy these anymore. You can't flash this motor anymore and it's just a hassle to open them up like uh, with this one. I bought four of these because I was dumb enough to think that they would be easy enough to open after watching some videos, but apparently they changed the design again, <laughs> which is really great. Now, on the old versions, uh, the SP1 and SP111, uh, I, th I think even SP112, but don't count me on that because I've never had anything more modern than the SP1 or whatever it was. Um, you still had a screw in the bottom here, at least on the European version, uh, the European plug here. And where the earth grounding pin goes here, uh, there was a screw in the back here, but I'm not sure how well this is visible on video if it's focusing. Come on, focus. Nah, it won't focus this close. Uh, this lens is stupid. <laughs> Anyways, you had a screw in the bottom here which you can unscrew and then just pop the top off, but I think they wanted to save a few cents more and uh, save costs on the screw here. So they removed it and glued the shut or heat staked the shut. I have no idea what kind of glue they used, but as you can see, this is a taking apart plug. Uh, this is the top part here, uh, this, this part here, which you actually have to remove on the EP2 versions now. And it is so hard to remove, you completely dis you're completely destroying your plug this way. So, if you want to win any beauty prizes, do not buy these anymore. <laughs> and there's al also another issue with the more modern versions of these EP2 plugs. I I'm not even sure when they came out initially, but they seem to have another revision going on now. This is the glue here, and... Uh, probably can I focus? Oh yeah, I can actually focus this because I'm not sure why this didn't work. Um, as you can see, they use the glue here in the very bottom here. Oh, there we go. That's a little hard to turn properly. <laughs> so, as you can see, all the marks of me trying to open this thing up and it is horrible. Now, I tried to squeeze the plug um, just to, to, to make the glue pop up, but it doesn't work and I will show you in a second why. This is all glue at the bottom here. Now, there are just these tiny little dots, but that's some really amazingly strong glue and I have no idea why they use that. Now, you can also see it in the already, there we go, uh, in the old one, let me get a pointy thing here, uh, in, the, in the still assembled version, because there's that little, uh, there we go, that little glue dot on the bottom there. And you have to get this off in order to pop the top off, which is impossible as said. Now, I tried to squeeze this in a vise, uh, did almost nothing, it, it popped up on one side but there was still one of these stupid glue thingies holding on on the other side and it took me over an hour to open this one and as you can see it's completely destroyed. I will not put this back together anymore uh, for other reasons still but you will see in a, in a moment why. Oh god, it was so stupidly hard to open. And the funny thing is, some people seem to have more success opening these, and I'm not sure why. Some people use like an X-Acto knife and, and cut in here, but it doesn't do anything. You still have to pry with, with something like this, you still have to pry this open and you'll end up with something horrible like this here. Like all these marks. Now, don't take this f as an example here right now, because I was frustrated enough after an hour to just take a uh, pipe wrench and uh, burst this thing open. So, <laughs> yeah. as you can see, it, it was quite destructive and the top half doesn't look better either, like you saw earlier, but it's completely destroyed now, there's, there's in focus. It's it's busted, this, this doesn't go back to get anymore. <laughs> now, 
I, I wasn't quite sure and I ripped the uh, Wi-Fi antenna off too, but that was my fault because I was just too impatient after one hour. And there's another fault too. So let me show you this. There are some versions where, uh, the, like, if I put this back together or just uh, like this here, this is the this is the Earth. Uh, come on, focus, focus. Thank you. This is the Earth. Uh, th those are the Earth prongs that that grab on the plug that you plug on uh, the top here, like these plugs uh, prongs here, and they actually heat staked the bottom part of the Earth. Now, since the Earth doesn't have to be switched, or should never be switched in such plugs, um, they simply just heat stake this. So you, even if you manage to take these apart properly, you will not be able to put them back together, <laughs> which is stupid. Why did they choose it, choose it this way? Now, on some versions, this is still soldered, which would make taking this apart easier. It would still be a pain in the ass because you would have to unsolder this, and uh, as you know, this, this kind of metal just soaks the heat away instantly. So it would still be a pain to solder with, uh, w without a proper and, and big soldering iron, which I don't have. I only have uh, fine gear, uh, so to speak. <laughs> and yeah, these EP2 plugs are garbage for smart home hackers like us. Now, I wanted to flash this mode on this, and you don't have any luck with these. Uh, as I said, as long as no new two-year patch or workaround comes out that makes them e uh, easily able to flash those with two-year convert, you're out of luck, sadly. Um, coming to the plug itself, now, uh, yeah, you could easily flash it if you get this part out, but as I said, it, it's, it's almost impossible if my focus would... There we go, thank you. Um, you could flash them because the, the flashing contacts are actually exposed on the back here properly, and there are countless tutorials on how to... Uh, countless uh, diagrams with the, with the pinout layer and everything. Uh, doesn't do anything if you can't open them, so <laughs> it's stupid. I also was thinking about maybe drilling holes at the bottom here, because uh, if you look at that, um, this is basically how the, the plug is... <laughs> there we go. This is basically how the plug is oriented with the button here and here. And there's the USP. Now the USP roughly sits in in this uh, in this area here, and I was thinking maybe you could drill holes through here and somehow make a little contraption that just pogo pin uh, makes pogo pins connect uh, onto the flashing pads here. But these are on the back. You would have to drill a hole here or cut a little slit here. Um, focus. Thank you. Uh, you you have to cut a little slit here and, and somehow. Go to the back. That that's not possible. How would you do that? Sadly, you you can't use the EP uh, two versions anymore, and with this mode at least, if you still want to uh, use uh, local two year or the two year cloud, uh, go ahead buy these. <laughs> I I want to use this mode, so I'm not buying these anymore. Yeah. Um, I also you also have to be careful if you take this plastic part uh, out, which is right beneath uh, this this. Um, transparent part here you have to be careful because the damn Wi-Fi antenna is on the on that thing and I accidentally ripped the connector off because I was impatient already and after now I just wanted to give up and get this open somehow now it, it's actually sad because these girls unplugged seem to be one of the last surviving ones with the ESP come on focus uh, these seem to be one of the last surviving one, ones with, with ESP chips in them. Many other brands already switched to Realtek chips, and nobody is interested in the Realtek chips, it seems. I'm not sure that the hacker community just seems to not like the Real, uh, Realtek chip or something, I'm not sure. But sadly, there's no, and will probably never be, a port of this motor for those. And, yeah, there will probably some point if, if someone's getting interested be a port of ESP home or something that you can still use these things but uh, with the real tech chip I mean but as, as long as nobody does that well you're kind of out of luck so yeah um, long story short don't buy the EP2 plugs if you want to flash this mode on them maybe you're lucky maybe you get a version where you can just pry them open easily because they use less glue but 
these cost almost 50 euros here at least so uh, for f four for a four pack that is so yeah not sure it's it's your decision to buy them but i wouldn't <laughs> so yeah hope you enjoyed this little video and uh i know it's a little bit longer than i thought it would be but still um just want to warn you guys so you don't make the same mistake as i do and accidentally buy four of these and destroy one in the process and now I end up with basically 50 euros of uh, worthless plugs and if I don't set up local 2 here, which I kind of don't want to because I'm, I'm used to this mode and I just don't like change that much. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave a subscribe if you super like this video and if you want to see more stupid content like this. And yeah, have a nice day.